usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull the drop tops out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, I GDM in, yeah. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young and untamed, I've been out. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to make my home look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if this is your first time here, welcome. And by the end of the video, if you have not yet subscribed, I hope you decide to stick around, hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So as you guys know, I love to decorate my home. I love home decor and home decor shopping can become very expensive. And to keep costs down, one of the ways I love to decorate my home is by thrifting my home decor items and upcycling them. As you know, as you've seen many times before, I love a good DIY. Well, in today's video, I thought it would be fun to just go and look at one of my favorite storage storage just go and look at one of my favorite stores which is CB2 now I don't have one near me so I love to go look online for inspiration and so I was looking through their website the other day they currently have a Memorial Day sale going on so a lot of their stuff is on sale 20 to 50 percent off I want to say but still, even at that, it's a little bit pricey. There are a few things that I see that have come down significantly that I want to purchase for my home. So I'll probably do that while the sale is going on. But there's also some things that I still think, hey, that's a little pricey. But I feel like I can get the inspiration from CB2 and then go out to my local thrift store to see if I can find something similar. So one of the things that caught my eye is this glass candle holder love them but not for $90 $90 on sale and you can find some really nice glass crystal candle holders at your local Goodwill and thrift stores so that's what we're going to be looking for today I want you know it's summer I want to bring in a lot of light and I want to do that with glass and some mirrored pieces so that's what we're going to be looking for. So if you love thrifting and you love home decor shopping, come along with me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button before you do. Now let's go.
All right, as you can see, there were a lot of really nice glassware pieces at this particular thrift store, Peddler's Mall. There's a bunch of booths in there. And sometimes I can go in there and find some really great things. And today was no exception. So I showed you those glass candle holders that I love from CB2. They're very expensive, $90, no, no bueno. So I found these, these little glass crystal candle holders. They are tea light holders. The other ones were tapered ones that we saw at CB2, but I think these would look so, so nice here in my home. I just love the detail on these, as you can see. Very, very nice, and they cleaned up really well. Remember, they had those ugly, nasty green candles in there? But look, brand new, and do you know how much these cost? These were two for $2, so a dollar a piece. Yes, one dollar a piece, and look how nice these are. I can see these styled in my entryway with some tea light candle holders in the evening, casting that warm, moody glow that you guys know I love. So, so excited to have found those and at such a very inexpensive price. The next piece that I found also, again, is candle related, and it's this little glass candle holder. I picked up not one, two, but three. It's always good to decorate in pairs of three, again, they cleaned up really nicely. They had some nasty candle gook in them as well. So, so pretty. Just look how nice these are. And these I picked up for 25 cents a piece. Again, very CB2 inspired to me. So I went ahead and picked those up. And then the next thing I got also, again, candle related, is this piece. You guys know I love ribbed glassware ribbed candle holders, anything with the rib detail, I think is very modern and very classic to me, very elegant. So when I saw this, I also had to go ahead and pick this up. This could be either a tea light, or turn it this way, a tea light holder like this, or it could be a taper, tapered candle holder like this. And I can also see this also styled in my entryway, <clears throat> excuse me, with a tapered candle. So, so nice, so elegant, and again, this only cost $1. You can find some very nice, inexpensive pieces at your local Goodwill, thrift stores, peddlers, mall, that type of thing. And then the next thing that I picked up, hold on a second. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up are these two little things. I guess these are glasses, but I was thinking, I've seen CB2 have glass wear that's stacked together and I thought these would be perfect to do that. They are the same size and they are flat on the bottom and can be stacked very well together if you can see that. Again, very similar to our piece from CB2 and I will put up a photo here. These were, I want to say 50 cents a piece or 25 cents a piece, I don't remember. But let's say they were 50 cents a piece, so a dollar for this little set, where the one on CB2, and I'll put up the photo here, cost way more. So again, when you go out thrifting, think outside the box, use your imagination. You can come up with some really nice, inexpensive, inexpensive, inexpensive and affordable ways to decorate your home with style on a budget. Now, the next thing I picked up, you're gonna say, Cheryl, why did you pick that up? I just thought it was pretty and I could decorate my bar cart with it. And it's this bottle. And it looks like it was a bottle of tequila. And I looked it up, it, it was probably a very, well, it was a very expensive bottle of tequila for like $90. But I love the glass bottle. And I thought it would be perfect to stage on my bar cart. And I just love the detail. I love the size of it. Just, I don't know. I thought it was pretty. It was $4, a little more than I wanted to spend, but I thought, again, it was very nice and would be perfect to stage on my bar cart. I did go ahead and clean this up really, really well. I washed out the inside 
in case I just wanted to use it as a decanter. And I washed out the inside with some soapy water. I sanitized it. And then I also stuck it in the oven <laughs> on a low setting of 175 degrees and left it there for a couple of hours to kill any other germs and bacteria. So again, if you find something like this and you wanna use it as a decanter, don't be afraid to pick it up. You can sanitize it. You can sanitize anything, guys. So I picked this up, $4. I thought it was a great find. Now, our last piece that I wanna to talk to you about, I was inspired. Um, I told you guys, I watched this um, lady. Her name is Enrica, Rika C, over on Instagram. She always posts really nice Instagram videos. And this is the second time she, says in she has inspired me, so thank you, Enrica. But she posted a video of a really beautiful floral arrangement using a glass vase. You guys know I love a good floral. As you can tell, I have florals everywhere. One there, one over there, one over here in my kitchen. I love florals. If you miss any of my how to get a high-end Lux look for less over the top floral arrangement, I will leave that video in the description box down below as well as in the iCards above so you can go check it out. I'm just a sucker for a good floral. I do not buy real flowers and it is because they are expensive and they die. I appreciate them and they look so, so pretty, but I'd rather spend my money on other things. So I buy faux florals and then I recreate the Lux look for less. So when I say all that to say, so I saw Enrique's video and she had this glass crystal vase and she decorated beautifully with some white and green hydrangeas. You guys know I love hydrangeas and the green is my signature color along with black and white. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I need that vase. And I asked her where she got it and she said she picked it up from Burlington. Well, Burlington is hit or miss. You Sometimes you might find it, sometimes you might not. I don't, I'm not even sure how long ago she picked it up, but she said she had it in clear and one in, I think she said brown. But anyway, I was inspired. And guys, guess what? While I was thrifting, I found, are you ready? This beautiful crystal vase. So, so pretty. It's not exactly like the one that Enrique C showed, and but it's similar and it's just as big. Let me get a thumbnail. But it's just as big. So I went ahead and picked it up. It was a little pricey, but it is crystal. And it was $20. You can see the detail is very heavy. And I thought it was perfect for $20. And I can use this here in my home and just create a really luxe, beautiful, over the top floral arrangement. So I was very happy with that. And so with the end of this video, that is what we are going to do. That's all I picked up today with, was these items. But now we are going to create a floral arrangement with this vase and we're gonna style it in my home. So make sure you don't go anywhere, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you keep watching. All right, so here are the florals we're gonna be working with. You guys remember these really pretty florals that I picked up from Amazon. These are a light, really light whitish color green. Then we have this one, which is like a more of a lime green in color, but you can see the quality of these florals. Absolutely love them. Um, we also have these hydrangeas. I think these came from Hobby Lobby or from Joann's, one of them, but these have more of a lighter, lime green with pink. Um, we also have these florals that I picked up fall time from the Target. I think these were part of the dollar spot or I don't know. I remember I got them on sale, but I just liked the color and I used them for fall. These are fall floral, but today we're gonna use them for summer. And then um, we have this random peony with a little bit of pink. I thought it would be fun to play with. Um, roses, you guys know I love roses. These roses came from Walmart, $3 a stem. 
very high quality to me. You can't go wrong with that price. And then I have these. These came from Michaels and I just love them. I don't know what these are called and they came in a stem, but I have cut them off the stem as you can see. And we have a bunch of these to play around with. And then for a pop of color, <clears throat> this is a fall floral that I picked up from Michaels. It was, or not Michaels, Hobby Lobby, it was $15.99. But I thought it might be fun to just play around with this and see what we can create. So again, here's our base that we picked up, 15. It was $20, again, it is crystal, very heavy. So I felt $20 was worth the price. And now we're going to create a really pretty floral arrangement using this vase and then we're going to style it in my home. So let's get started. All right, so I thought, so I thought, all right, so here are the florals that we, again, we picked up on clearance from Hobby Lobby or maybe they were 40% off, I don't remember. But let's start out with these and see how these would look here at the base. I need to take this tag off. There's nothing worse than saying an orange tag. Okay, so I wanna try to make it it down in here and I don't like to uh, cut my stems unless I absolutely have to because I want to use them in other arrangements so I'm just going to set this down in here like so can you see that and then I think we need to add in a little bit of greenery so I have this stem so let's go ahead and just stick that in and just manipulate the florals around a bit until you get them the way you like them And this is how they look. And a very nice pop of color. So let's see how it looks in my entryway. So this is how the arrangement is looking here in the entryway along with the crystal taper candle holder that we picked up. Absolutely love the moody vibe. This is given off, you guys know. Man, this needs to go. So I absolutely love the moody vibe that this is giving off. You guys know I love a good moody vibe. <clears throat> and I think this is perfect. So this is how the vase looks with a pop of color. I think this would be perfect for fall, not so much the look I'm going for for summer. So let's go and play around some more. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. And now let's play around with some hydrangeas. So I think I'm gonna use a combination of these pink and green ones along with this lighter color. You guys know how I like to do north, south, east, and west. So we're gonna put the two pinkies pointing this way, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we're gonna put another kind of white one here. And then we're going to add this one here in the center, like so. Again, I love this little piece of greenery, so we're going to 
stick it down in here and kind of let it stick up and play around with it. And this is how this one's looking. So let's go see how it looks in the entryway. So this is how this arrangement is looking. You guys know I love using green as my accent color and I love the way the base here looks here in the entryway. So, so pretty. And it is so funny. It's like I manifested this base after I saw the floral arrangement that Enrica created on her Instagram. Again, I will leave her link she is full of inspiration not just for home decor but also food if you're a foodie you need to check her out but yeah absolutely love this love the face leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think all right so i'm gonna take out these now and now Let's play around with these. I love these. These are so pretty. Again, I don't know what these are called. If you know what these are, leave me a comment down below. I just think they're so, so pretty. So we're just gonna drape them around the base. No rhyme or reason, just randomly around the vase and already I am loving the way this is looking. I think let's go in with some roses as well. Roses are going to be our centerpiece. more of these. I'm going to try to get them in varying heights. Some high, some low. Just make it really pretty. And this is our last one of these. And I'm going to take a look around and see maybe where we can put this. Like so. And then of course I'm gonna put my greenery back in. I just, again, love this little piece of greenery. And move my flowers all around it. Then maybe add in this came from Amazon and a floral pack that I picked up. I have three of these. Excuse me. I'm just gonna place them in here randomly throughout the arrangement. And yeah, look how pretty that is. Let's take a closer look. Face. This one <clears throat> you can't really see the face 
all that well, but I do love how the floral arrangement looks in it. I think it is absolutely perfect for summer. It's giving me that modern, elegant, sophisticated look. As the book says, refined luxury is what this is giving to me. I hope that is the same vibe you are getting as well. Love the candlesticks again with this. So again, I love the candlesticks with this. So, so perfect. Or not the candlesticks, but the little tea light holders. So, so pretty. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this look. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed my thrift with me and home decor haul and how I used and displayed the items in my home. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle, my style family. I have so much more summer decorating inspiration coming up all on a budget. So if you love home decor, but also love saving money, then this is the channel for you. So come along with me and I will show you how to get that luxe look for less and make your home look a whole lot more expensive than it really is. So again, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one.